Now we are going to be talking some relationship issues and I have here with me Reverend Benny Osadia. He is customer experience and HR performance consultant and coach. You're welcome Reverend. Thank you, Prima. Thank you for having Great. me. Great. You know, so today we are talking about something really interesting. You know, in a relationship, you, a lot of things happen, you know. Now, pattern ways with everything <clears throat> that your heart is involved in is not an easy task. But sometimes the situation requires that you move on. How easy or how do you strategize to do so without breaking your neck? And that is what we are talking about today. <coughs> Benny, you know... This is the reality on the ground. Nobody goes into a relationship thinking that, okay, I'm giving myself some two weeks or six months or two years or sometimes 25 years, you know, and then I'll leave. But sometimes things happen and you have to go. But you realize that you've stayed on for some time because your heart is there. You know, so let's look at that, you know, your initial comment, how easy or difficult is it, you know, to part ways to now decide that I have to move. Well, thank you once again for having me and a cherished good morning to all your viewers. Um, the truth is there's nothing easy walking away from any kind of relationship because there is an investment of you that goes into mm. it. So walking away is not as easy as people think. Look, we can have an argument, we can fight, and you say, that's it, that's the end for me. But there are residues of the person that lingers on with you. Yeah memories you share that can't be deleted. Mm. There are so many things you've shared together over the period where you've been together that you can't just walk away. Yeah. So when you have to do, it's because something really warrants that to mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. And when you do, yes, of course, it will have its challenges. It will have its difficulties. You will do your second guesses because sometimes you might have moved on, but you miss some things mm -hmm. or memories you shared with the person. Yeah. And you, you cannot second guess if, have I made the right choice? Mm -hmm. Am I doing the right thing? And so many different things yeah. that come. So with regards to easiness, I'm not sure. Mm. It's difficult. Mm. In some cases, it could be easy, depending on the conditions and the situations in which you mm. find yourself. Mm. All right, so it can be easy, but it can be extremely difficult with excruciating pain. You know, so, so how do you <clears throat> um, condition yourself to move? Well, the truth is, there are so many things that you need to be doing for you. Okay. Because immediately you come to the realization that this is not working for me, there is nothing mm. you can do but to make the step. You see, so many people sometimes stay on in relationships that they left years ago. Yeah. Even marriages. Yes. There are some people who were actually, if you like, partially divorced from the first six months of that marriage. But they've been on in there for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. But they exited years ago. So their heart is no longer there. Their heart there. is not there. They're, what, what they're doing is managing the yeah. situation. For whatever reason, some could be family, some could be children, some could be this and that and that. Maybe mutual investments and other things they have together. So they just in there, just managing the situation. But they exited years ago. But you know, sometimes the person hasn't really done anything wrong per se. But then you realize that this is not working. Yep. And so emotions are involved. You don't want to step on toes. You don't want to offend people. How do you psych yourself, you know? And how do you announce something like that? <sighs> As of the how, people do things differently. Yeah. There are some people who don't have the chills. Mm -hmm. So they will say it as it is and walk away. Yeah. Um, they might pretend that I don't care. They remain indifferent mm. about the situation, but sometimes they really do. Mm. But it's their defense mechanism to show a macho, a macho kind of you know, prowess out there. Mm. So people do this differently. If you ask how, I think it would differ because how I might approach it might be different from how someone might approach so it. So for instance, if you find yourself there, how are you going to do it? Um, <clears throat> I've never come to that point, but the day I do, I think I'll walk. <laughs> you really? Yeah, but how, how would you tell the person? Because sometimes you feel that inside you is not fair, you know, to treat this person like that. They don't deserve that, you know. But you also don't know how to say it without making you look bad. I'm, I'm not sure what you're trying to prevent, looking bad or doing the right thing. Because mm. if it's not working, trust me, you can't hold on to it. 
One of the things I also understand about relationships is that relationships sometimes are like scaffolding. Mm. You bring it to the building to be part of the building process yeah. to help you raise the building to a level. But along the line somewhere, the folding need to go off mm. so that other elements of the building can continue. Okay. That is what relationships are. Mm. Everyone is not designed to be part of your life forever. Okay. There are some people who come to contribute aspects of it and they will move on. Mm. When you come into my life and play a role and your time is here for you to exit gracefully, with all the respect, yes, let's make this happen. Because I have the understanding that not everyone would have the permanence in my life. Mm. Not your wife, not your, your children will go away. Yeah. Your children will move on, they'll go to school, they get married. Mm. And it is important for you to understand that we are all not here to stay. Yeah. I'm not here to stay forever. Hey, I can promise you heaven, and, but I, I might pass on. Yeah. What happens? Someone got married in two months, the husband passed on. Mm. Then, so these things can happen in life. And when you condition your mind that we are not supposed to, it's not supposed to happen, I think you would end up inheriting vanity and the wind mm. because mm. You, you're practically looking for something that don't exist. Mm. People can come into your life and they walk away. So when the time comes for that walk away to happen, it might be difficult, it might be challenging, but if it's got to go, it got to go. go. But, but so when we flip you know, the coin, and then you are at the receiving end. This person has to leave you, but your, your heart is in it, you know, but they have to go. And how do you put yourself together? Difficult. Painful. Uh-huh. Mm. You don't, you, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. No, you sound like um, you, you really had the experience. Oh, I've, I've had an experience like that before. Okay. All right, and it's not anything that really traveled to an extent that, but... This is someone that you really cherish. Yeah. This is someone who plays a major role in your life. Mm. But suddenly, you, you start picking up different things, and this person, you know that in as much as I would want to die for this person, it's red flag, it's yeah. dangerous. And if you keep at it, you sign your own death warrant. Mm. So you've got to choose. The truth is, love is nice. Yeah, when very. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. But it's got its sour tastes also. Mm. So... There are people that are holding on to relationships today. Their families don't understand them. Their friends don't understand them. Yeah. And you think that you're losing your head. I call it mopping. A friend of mine call it mopping. Mm. You know when you know this is wrong, but you can't do without mm -hmm. it. You're talking yeah. for hours and doing this and that. These are challenges mm. that you can't just get, you know, get over. Mm. You know? So it's difficult, yeah. but when the time comes. You know, so for some people, I mean, people have had to even die because someone left and yes. they just couldn't handle it. Other people eat, you know, anyhow, and other people also... They lose control, basically. Lose control, everything, everything about it. So, so let's see, um, I mean, in wrapping up, you know, generally, how do we condition our mind? You've already spoken about the fact that just know that people may not be there permanently. That's correct. But when the reality comes, you know, sometimes you know mm. that, okay, this is it. But when you are faced with reality, you realize that you can't do it. Are there certain things that, you know, you can put your mind on? Are there certain things you probably can do just to make sure that you don't think about this too much, just that you are able to handle it better? One, I think that accept the condition and the situation, first thing. Okay. You need to accept... Stop putting your head in the soil, thinking, no, this is not happening. Mm. It is happening. Accept it. And when you come to that first point of realization, the next thing I will do is that activate your emotional intelligence because you need it. Okay. You need to emotionally be intelligent to understand that the condition I find myself is not what I would want, mm. but this is where I am. I have to learn to move my life on. It is people who say that, no, I can't handle this. I can't do this. Then they start looking for options, suicide mm. and this and that. Someone wants to die and goes to buy poison and stands there waiting for change. If you're yeah. dying, there's no need for change. Mm. Just go in. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> make up that mind that, mm. listen, I need to and activate your emotional intelligence. Start looking forward. But more importantly, look for your what I call your circle of support okay. to be there. Mm. The third, maybe the final thing is you must understand addictions cannot be broken. They can be replaced. Mm. So if you're addicted to the person, his voice, her voice, the affection you share, find other people in your equation that can help you at least 
give that attention. Don't seclude and isolate yourself. Isolation mm -hmm. is a killer. Okay. All right. So have friends, have a support group that can help you. Have the conversations, you know, through the different things. Mm -hmm. Cry together. Do all that. Mm -hmm. But have people there that are there to support mm -hmm. you. Family, friends, and you'll be good. Right. Thank you very much, Benny. I think this has helped because some way, somehow, people will go through broken hearts, you know, even when you are not prepared for it. I don't think anybody is ever prepared for broken hearts. Thank you very much for joining us. So now you know how to deal with that, you know, when your heart is still in it, but you have to take that difficult um, decision of moving on. This is Breakfast Daily. We'll be right back.